Welcome back guys to the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass where we're within Muto's temple. We have to light ourselves another torch on this floor in order to retract the spikes. So with that said, let us get moving, hey? Let's drop a bomb and get running. Maybe I should have, oh well, that's quite lined up nicely. There we go, destroy a bat. And start the bridge off running. So, whoa, trapdoor. But apart from that, I'm not gonna make it over because the block's over here. It's too slow. So we gotta get our timing perfectly right. So with that said, let's mark that trapdoor on the map so we definitely don't fall into it. With that back gone, it'll take a little less time to get through here. So, when's the best time to start running, he says. Hopefully now. If I could just get on that block in time, that's perfect. Perfection. That's exactly what we wanted, so, with that said and done, we'll open the door and face whatever monsters are waiting for us inside. If it's more stealth boss, though, we'll need our boomerang. And it is indeed. Right, well, hitting them would be good for starters. Well, the sword works too. Oh, I still got got by the head. It nibbled me in the knee or something. I don't know. With hopefully another bridge spawning. And another torch being lit. We're nice and done. Retract the spikes, sir. And let us down to another floor. No treasure chests, no orbs found thus far. I was hoping for them, but we've got Captain Skeleton now. All said and done, though. We're lacking a head. Boomerang is brilliant, and while this floor is absolutely massive and with many ups and downs... That chest is extremely interesting to me, so... Hmm... Well, yes, not good. What happens if I fall directly on this little weird bit? Well, I jump over it. So that's not good, that's definitely not the way to go. I could have told you that earlier. So we'll just behead you, sorry about that. Let's see where on earth we're going. I can walk across this spiky walkway. Alright, this seems like a maze in and of itself, to be honest. And it's flooded as well by the look of it. So we can't get any further downwards. Upwards is where we're going to have to go, but there's turtle shells and weird switches that we've seen in the Temple of the Ocean King. I don't know what's going on here, but we'll continue onwards to the second floor. Just go with it, really, is what I'm doing at the moment. So if you're around there, sir, I'm going to get some more bombs out. Farewell, rupee like like. I'm glad that you're an actual rupee. You're obviously not. Okay, you were. You're not. You are. You are. Ooh, treasure chest. Well, I was moving onwards, but just in case there might be an orb. I know one of you is. You, you? No? Ah! I got close to him and everything and nothing happened. Ugh. Go away from me, or oh, evil rupee like likes of doom. I should have went the other way. But we got ourselves some pink coral. It's hardly worth it, it feels. Not an orb at all. I just got scared by like like. I thought that was a rupee. I got close to it and everything. I wasn't expecting it. Ah! Right, but what we do is we come. There was one of these things earlier. I wonder what it is. I do indeed as well. I think I saw one in the Temple of the Ocean King too. We did as well. Looks like a switch, but it's rusty and probably won't budge if you stand on it. Indeed, but I, the one in the Temple of the Ocean King, I wondered how to even get to it. That was one of the main issues there. Well, we'll keep climbing, I guess, to the third floor, and it looks to me like we might be involved in some kind of battle. I was going to say Rupee Light Likes, but... Maybe not, eh? I'll behead you. And you oh, no, 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 no. Get away from me. There definitely is a rupee like like in here. Maybe the map could have told me all along. Maybe I should have been paying more attention to the map. But all the same, I think the game is kind of gifting us a dungeon item right now. What do you think? You've got a hammer. It's small, but it packs a punch. Tap something to hit it. Tap and hold to build up huge hammering power. Huge hammering power, do I need huge hammering power? But with our sixth item slot filled at last. Let's 
Let's see how much hammering required to get rid of this. Not a lot. So about this huge hammering power, what does it look like? It's like... The fairy's holding the hammer? Oh, so I can hammer wherever I want? Ah, cool. So from range, eh? Touch the footprint. Slam the pillar. Oh, touch the footprint. Slam the pillar. Oh, springy! Could have guessed. Couldn't have guessed. Springy! Onwards! To the sky! Ah, can you deal with these as well? It seems you can, a little bit. Just smack them. And I'll do the rest. Fairy and me, working as one. Boing! There are no treasure chests on this floor. Thank you for telling me. Because we managed to already take the one here. Right then. Well, we can defeat you now. Ha-ha! And at range. Ha-ha! Even better. We have another hammer to smack here. Let's get looking around. I'm glad that we found the right path early enough. Could have got lost in this maze, after all. Right, so can I... Hmm. I cannot smash boulder, which is never good. I could also not push boulder, which is not very good either. But if we push you down here, we can get rid of boulder. And find out where that takes us. We have no key at the moment. Whatever's in there, I do not know. Something we have to collect, something we have to gather? Well, it seems, first of all, pirate friends want us. And to be honest, with a hammer, we could just smash them to pieces at range. It seems to me that the hammer is going to be crazy good. Which is probably why we got it last. Well, let's go search for a key somewhere, eh? In this massive temple. Bang, bang. We're going to have to wait for you to come back, I'd imagine, or not. Doesn't seem like a breakable wall over there. Ah, platform. Ah, nicely done. Well, we'll hit you from range. We'll hit you from range. We'll hit you from range. Ow. Mean. Right, next time i got to stand more central to the moving platform. That way we should probably not get chucked off that much. Okay, hit that one, hit that one, hit that guy specifically. Ah, uh, get on. Hit that one, hit that one, hit... Is there any more to hit? Hit that one. Aha, we're through. All well, that said and done, I'll take first of all... A nice small key. What's down this path? Another treasure chest, you say? With a courage gem inside it. Lovely. Only a few more gems to collect now, that's for sure. We're down to 19, 17, and 19. One power, one wisdom, and free courage. Supposedly, I gotta get hijacked on the ocean waves to get one courage. Not by Jolene this time, but by the little guys that are around other pirate ships. Let's keep exploring. Okay, we've just made a way back up to over here, which of course is gonna lead us back to our key location. Which makes us wonder, what on earth is this behind the door? Well, I rotated it, and that drained the water. I guess that's one way to do things, that's for sure. So, all that's left, I guess, is to jump down and have a look around. Hello, pirate guy. Well, I'll just smack you from range. The path will open when mighty attacks change the color of the tiles. All to circle, you think? Aha, so I've got to be... Ah, so there's a shockwave range. We hit right in the middle, we would have turned them all. With that done, the path opens. And so we continue onwards for more puzzles. And by the look of it, repeated elevation of water. I could guess, but... Can I hit it from here? Hmm. Right, I can't hit that. The one thing I do wonder is if hitting it with... Is it a bit higher than me? Well, I can't jump over to it, that's for sure. I'm just wondering if it's higher than me as a whole. 
Hmm, I don't know. I really can't tell. But for now, let's bang ourselves up high. And get ourselves an arrow. So, our mission here seems to be to hit the very top of it. Aha! So it was higher than I can reach. And that will create us a new path. I don't mind you, like, respawning and giving me another arrow, like, right now. Because, to be honest, I'm not exactly high on arrows. Any collectibles I could get, the better. So what set do we need it to be? All the same, or...? Well, no way to tell. Okay, if we stand on one, we can stop them all rotating. That's interesting. So now we change them all to X's. It opens up the door. Nicely done. A standing on one tip is quite handy. It's quite an interesting thing to work out at the time, but... Hmm. I gotta say, I do wonder how to get further than here. Okay, that's not a platform to hit. Oh, uh? Ooh. Yes, indeed. Well, that's what that door opened up, eh? Another chance for us to drain the water, another time chance for us to make it forward. Ah, so that's what that was. Right. Now where to? Because you never know when there might be some kind of secret hiding around. And we can head down lower over here. We can also spring ourselves up over the wall to this treasure chest, by the look of it. Do I want to go there yet? Because it's probably going to take us far away from where we need to be. Well, that's always the problem with these kind of things. But to be honest, it looks like I found myself a boss door more than anything. Boing oing! There are no treasures chests on this floor. Why, thank you for telling me, sir. Well, what kind of thing do we want to change this to? All the same? Well, with that in mind, um, if I stand on this one... And hit there, that should all be circles. If I stand on this one and hit here, then those ones should turn to those. Okay, and then if I stand on here and hit here. Puzzle's not hard when you realise stepping on one is the way to go. But I don't think I'm going the right way. Alright, so I can bring myself over to the other side here, which takes me far and far away from the treasure chest. Open the path, the true form lies here. And we can't hit any of those from up here, we can't even hit that. We could spring upwards, what are you saying sir? Boing oing, the number of treasure chests left here is free! I've cost you 20 rupees to see where they lie, well no thanks at the moment sir. I'm just wondering exactly what to do to get to that, hmm. If I take this treasure chest by going back and round, will I be closing myself off from somewhere? Because to me, it looks like we could create ourselves an opening over here. Just to get to the treasure chest from the other side, maybe? Hmm, suspicious block as well. For some reason I was like, I could dig that. Well, I do wonder why it's so suspicious, but with that said, we need to hit a thing. Ah. Well, that's not going to hit what we want at the moment, but if we change it around a little bit, it will hit what we need. As water floods once more, it's all about getting over the other side. But that's easier said than done as well. well. We've got ourselves another puzzle here. Red and blue, when they align in their true form, the path will open. You mean just red or just blue? I don't know. Right, so what do we want to move first then? Same kind of solution where we go bang and their X's. Bang and their circles. Bang in their circles. Bang in their circles. But does it all want to be X's, maybe? Or... Ah! Ooh! Or does it want to be... 
the same as the ones down there, which we cannot reach. That is probably the answer. So messing it up from what we did there was not a good idea. Right, so bang. Okay, we changed that to a circle, but we need that one to be an X. So there we go. That's one thing done. Now if we do that one, we'll get the circle middle row done. And then if we do this one, I guess that's its true form then. Lovely jubbly. Well, we got to flood everything again. Bring up the water! Though I'm wondering what that springy point was actually leading us to now on the other side. That's got me highly confused. Well, it seems to me that we need to head mostly back anyway, apart from, of course, rejigging the water. I'm so curious right now! Hmm, well, curiosity killed the cat and all. Probably mess me up because I'm going back. There's no way I could just leave it. But to be honest, the postal was near anyway, so I could have left it and come back for it later. What are you? F oh wait a second! You were just spring me that way, which is completely useless. Why am I thinking you could spring me that way? I've been agonising over that for minutes, minutes, and people have been probably thinking, "What's he going on about? It's facing the wrong way." Well, that might be because I'm a little bit insane. Just a little. All the same, let's bring myself upwards. I have no problem doing the puzzles, just to get myself a bit insanity. It's crazy. Ah! Max, Max, Max. Haha, this happens amazing. Right, what are we getting here? A big green rupee? Well. Definitely would have preferred myself an orb, all the same, but we. Well, beggars can't be choosers and all that. Right, so where are we leading? Ooh. Ah, ooh. No? Yes? Hmm. Yes. Gotta be. Hit the boulder on there. Spring it up. And roll it down. Nicely done. Oh, I'm wondering, where are we now? Where are we now? So much, ooh, it even gives us another one in case we messed up. With that said and done, I'll take myself. A lovely small key, why thank you. And spring myself up on high! Woody! Okay, so we at the start again now? Say confusing, but with the water having been lowered, we should be able to make it along this way. Well, not down this way, but to the right. Which has a spring in case we need to get back up, but I need to get to that big chest, sir! With a small key! We can at least gain access. I'm wondering if a monster wants to face me around here. Well, it looks like we're springing up. Ooh. Multiple springy up, Brock. Let's do this. One. I need to go as well, though. Spring. Up. Rock. Hey, I'm coming too. Don't forget me. Right, so we want to push it down here. So we are on the right track. So smash this open and get ourselves a boss key. It's a huge heavy key. Tap close to yourself to set it down and tap far away to throw it. Well, the boss key gained. It's just getting to the boss now after all, but... What's with this extra pathway? Can I just leave the boss key? Right, we bring ourselves back to where we want to be. Now I'm a bit worried that, uh, uh oh. Uh, 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 uh. I knew you were going to throw me off. Oh, the, the moving. That dip, the moving platform disappears if I'm no longer on it. That's no good. So all we gotta make sure to do is smash them before we get even anywhere near them. That's the way I like it. And we should probably remain without key for the time being. Just in case bad times happen. Hello. 
with the door opening, where will it lead? Looks like some kind of massive arena in front of us. With multiple podiums to bash ourselves up on high. I wonder if there's a chest hiding around. But it seems to me that we're pretty much at our boss's location. So I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Join me for more Phantom Hourglass next time as we face a boss and try to collect our final orbs around the place, eh? Bye-bye.